my life is is controlled chaos at best um with three young boys seven one's going to be 11 in two weeks and the other 12 and a half my work during the summer my father and i have a hay business and we hay about 250 acres make roughly 35 to 38 thousand square bales a year during the off season if you want to call it that i cut wood and drive school bus for the local school district and we make some maple syrup too if i've always had uh, stiff neck and back problems just from 30 plus years of, of hard work and what brought it about was nothing i hadn't done hundreds if not thousands of times if, if we are cutting trees and we find some nice straight ash trees that are the right size We'll cut them six foot length and then get them out of the woods. Usually you throw, throw one on your shoulder because it's eight or, eight or 10 inches around, get it out of the woods. Then you split them for fence posts. They make the greatest fence posts. And so I had one on my shoulder coming out of the woods and, and it started to roll off. And so I just kind of bounced it and shrugged my shoulder. And a couple of days later, I went to my chiropractor. He goes, oh yeah, you got a huge knot here in your neck and down the base of my neck and my shoulder blade. So he worked the knot for a little bit and he adjusted me. And when he did, my arms jumped. And I go, you wouldn't believe it, but it felt like you just poured cold water down my hands. And he goes, you need to go see your doctor. That's nothing I can fix. Believe it or not, actually working, I had less pain than not working, I think, because the muscles would stabilize and splint things when you're working. It was at night, I could not get comfortable to sleep. It was as if someone was taking a fork and just dragging it up and down my arm, rub, raking my skin raw. Within two weeks, the MRI was done. I was up to the spine center. After surgery, he came home in the rigid collar that was on for um, just over four weeks. With that, it was do nothing. You can't even pick up a milk jug. You have a five-pound lifting limit. So my boys were in their glory having to serve me dinner and pour my milk for me and help me do everything. And by the time I got out to 12 weeks, I was working six or seven hours a day with a saw. And by the, when I went back to him, he asked what I was doing. I said, I was doing this, doing that. And so then he, he released me at that point to... As he put it, if you have to strain to lift it, don't. And uh, so then, then that was pretty much back to normal for me at 12 weeks. My experience is not necessarily gonna be your experience. I think if you talk to 10 people and they had good outcomes, chances are, you know, that, that may be a good choice for you. You know, you could talk to just as many people who had the same procedure done that didn't have a, a good outcome, whether it be at another doctor. I had a friend who had back surgery and he can barely walk afterwards. He's worse off. Um, make the decision based on what your quality of life is at that point. Uh, I can do everything I could do before. I have no difference in, in pain, um, range of motion. Forward and back, I have no loss of range of motion. Left to right, extreme range to the right, I get a little tight just because that plate You've, you've lost a little mobility instead of having seven or eight vertebrae that all hinge together. There's one less that hinges. So there, there's a little bit, but I'm not stiff. I'm not sore, you know, other than having to watch the scar when I shave so I don't nick it and it bleed. You wouldn't know it was ever done.